We are just a couple of months away from the official announcement of the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. And when it arrives, it has to fill big shoes specifically to beat the iPhone 14 Pro. There are even some rumors that are giving us high hopes that finally we might get an Android device that can beat the iPhone. So, let's see what the upcoming Galaxy S23 might boast to beat the powerful iPhone 14. Back in September, we saw Apple introduce Emergency SOS via satellite with its brand new smartphone, the iPhone 14. Now, you'll be happy to know Samsung might equip this feature in their upcoming S23 series which might be the first Android device to have this feature. According to a report from ET News, Samsung is teaming up with Iridium Communications so that Samsung can use its 66 low orbit satellites to provide last resort contact in an emergency. Another massive upgrade is likely to be the processor. As you know, Qualcomm introduced its latest chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which will be the biggest addition to the upcoming S23 series. Gen 2 puts up some impressive numbers on the Geekbench 5 benchmark. Actually, Apple's Bionic chipset dominates this test, but the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is almost close to beating the Bionic A16 in the multi-core score. iPhone 14 has its lead on a single-core score with 1727, and the iPhone 14 Pro boosted that number to 1882. Anyway, rumors also suggest that Samsung is planning to use a custom version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in the S23 series. In terms of design, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series might give a similar feel from the outside as the Galaxy S22 series. A rumor from IC Universe indicates that the bezel of the S23 might get thicker. We don't know the exact reason for increasing the bezel, but it could be to improve the durability. Let's just see what happens. Another change we might see in the S23 series is an improved screen which might feature a Super AMOLED display with the ability of peak brightness of 2200 nits. Also, it's expected to have a 960Hz touch sampling rate for smooth response time. Plus, the brand new display from Samsung is likely to be 45% power efficient compared to its predecessor. Not just that, this Super AMOLED display might be the first to sport LTPO 3.0. While there isn't much information about its feature, but some say it will be more power efficient. A brighter display and LTPO 3.0 isn't all the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is rumored to get. Another report on Sam Mobile suggests that this upcoming smartphone might get the latest Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max fingerprint reader. Regarding the camera, Samsung might deliver a huge boost in camera quality with the upcoming Galaxy S23 Ultra. According to Ice Universe Weibo post, which mainly shows a camera comparison of the unreleased S22 Ultra versus S22 Ultra and Google Pixel 7, the comparison comes with a simple challenge and that is which image looks best when zoomed into 100%. Well, the Galaxy S22 Ultra sample contains more details compared to Galaxy S22 Ultra, all thanks to a new 200 megapixel sensor. It not only ensures more sharpness but also contains a wide range of color accuracy. As for the release date, the upcoming smartphone Samsung Galaxy S23 series might come to the surface in the month of February 2023, but some news suggests Samsung is aiming for a mid-January release. In short, as we get closer to the following year, our expectation for the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 gets higher. According to various rumors we've seen till now, we think Samsung took everything seriously to beat the iPhone 14 series with the upcoming S23 series. It might come with the brightest display, greatest camera and custom Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. By combining all these, we think it will be a great smartphone to say the least. So, that's all from us. Let us know in the comment section below what you know about the upcoming Galaxy S23 series. And as always, thanks for watching our video. Like and share with your friends if you find this video to be helpful and subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.